So what we're going to look at today is the fixed assets component of the financial edge. Fixed assets stores all of the information your organization needs to properly track and manage your property, plant, and equipment. The system calculates depreciation based on built-in IRS formulas and tables or on custom depreciation schedules you enter to meet your specific needs. Other features enable you to print scannable barcodes, um, to expedite asset inventory, automatically remind yourself of scheduled maintenance, and even view pictures of the asset from within the program. Where I really like to start the presentation on fixed assets is taking a look at the asset record itself because that's going to allow us to store a lot of information. When I open up the asset record, I'm able right here on the first screen to be able to do things like store the purchase date, price, model, serial number, location, and more information about this particular asset. I get some great statistics down at the bottom about this particular asset, and also notice my depreciation method. Uh, many organizations that I have spoken with use fixed assets to do the straight line depreciation method, but notice we give you a lot of other methods as well, and even give you the ability to use a do not depreciate method. So if you do have an asset that doesn't necessarily meet the capitalization threshold, uh, you'll still have the ability to track that information right from within here to see you know, where it is, who owns it, etc. We have the ability here to see my projected depreciation. So this is just an informal report that we give you and uh, this could definitely help you when it comes to, to budgeting season. We also can see all the activity or everything that's gone on with this particular asset from when it was acquired to uh, you know each period's depreciation, also any improvement transactions and also when we dispose of this asset as well. All of that tracked in one centralized location. We'd also be able to track any actions associated with this particular asset. So in this case, it is my Ford F-150 and we need to get maintenance done on it. And I can see right down here that we need to have an oil change and I can even have the system automatically remind those individuals that this particular asset needs to have maintenance done. Also being able to track the location of this particular asset. So always being able to know where this asset is um, and if it's moved and being able to track the history to make sure that we don't lose the assets there. Also being able to use the media tab here to maybe track pictures of this particular asset. In this case, I want to place a picture of the truck in there or maybe I have a, the truck warranty that I want to scan in. So being able to have that ability to scan that information into the system so we always know where those important documents are. And also being able to do things like have user defined fields inside of the system and also being able to do things like track notes here as well, which you see on the tabs across the top there. So a lot of great information as far as what we're able to track on this particular asset record. And then when it comes to calculating depreciation, well that's very simple as well. I simply just click on calculate depreciation. I place the date in there that I want to calculate it through and hit calculate now. The system's going to go through and create all of those calculations that you would then just post to the general ledger. Also a nice feature with our fixed assets, if you were utilizing the purchase orders component, is that there is a link from purchase orders to fixed assets. So I could, upon receipt of that purchase order, hit click to make this a fixed asset, and it will automatically create that fixed asset record, placing all of that important information on the record itself. So there is that link from AP to fixed assets utilizing our uh, purchase order component. And lastly, just like to point out uh, that the fixed assets component does come with its own subset of reports, just like every component inside of the financial edge. Reports from you know those action reminders to see maybe what maintenance has to get done on certain assets that we have. Being able to have a list of the asset reports, so what we've acquired, uh, and transaction reports, so being able to see things, um, you know, depreciation summary reports year-to-date depreciation reports, which are all just going to look and feel exactly like the reports that we have inside of Financial Edge, in which you just go across the top, answer the questions, and the report is going to be produced for you there. And of course, all of the reports having the ability to export this information out to um, you know, formats like PDF, Excel, etc. 
So a very robust tool um, built right within the financial edge. No longer will you have to manage your assets uh, out on Excel or maybe have you know your auditor do them at the end of the month for you. Uh, we could definitely have that information inside of the system, save you time, and uh, you know bring that accuracy uh, to your financial edge and have this information post directly to the general ledger. I hope you enjoyed the presentation on fixed assets. If you have any more questions, please feel free to go ahead and contact BlackBot. We'd be happy to answer them. Thank you.